I'm afraid it's going to go off again. Hi, everyone. So, obviously, we're having an app issue or a Wi-Fi issue. I'm not sure what kind of issue. We're having issue. So, if this does not work, we are going to go to Facebook Live. We've decided if this one does it again. So, make sure if this we just disappear again to head over to Facebook Live because that's where we will do it because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It works for a little bit and then it goes away. All right, all the links are down below. I'm not gonna talk about those links. <laughs> Just go click them. So today we are doing something kind of fun. Um, so I, as many of you know, we have, I have a new, uh, they're building a new bank for me. Well, for my entire team. Uh, but everything's gonna be new and shiny. And so we decided that we wanted audio but no video. Is anybody else having issues with that? Do you guys both see and hear me? Because I'm super scared that you guys don't see me. Can I get a yes or a no? It's good? Okay. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, we uh, have to, I want to make every, I want to make basically cups for my team. So, let me show you what we did last night. I'm going to turn this on Shawnee. So, what are these, Sean? These are the... Uh... The Contigo uh, tumblers, and then what we did is that we did a sandblast of his bank's um, logo on it. Correct. We did a blue, and we also did a silver. So we're going to show oh. you, this is the first time, so when did we get our sandblaster? Oh, about a year ago. And this is the first time we've used it. So let me kind of walk you through what we did here. Um, I already have it uh, loaded up in, you can see here, Cricut Design Space. And essentially what we're doing is the white part here, that is what's going to be exposed to the glass. Mm -hmm. And that's where the sand will hit these tumblers, which Sean has to take that off here yeah. soon. Um, so we're just using regular Cricut vinyl. So here's the Cricut vinyl. This is nothing special, it's just Cricut vinyl. With this, we also need a transfer. So we're using this Cricut transfer sheet. And I've given you the links down below. So essentially what we're doing is we need to wrap this entire tumbler to where the sand will not hit it. From here and just a little over. Yeah. So that's basically what we're doing. Now the sand blaster, let's, before we do this, we're going to show you the setup out here. Um, we got a sand blaster for Christmas. So I got my sand blaster for Christmas. I thought I was going to use it for all sorts of stuff, but I have not. Um, I got this a few. Oh, just a sec. Ago. Sean got this. You do not need no. something this size. So I want Sean to show you what our setup is. Look at this. We look like a movie studio out here. Look at these lights, Sean. You're so See professional. Look, like, look so good outside in the dark. Look how dark it is, Sean. You are just, you have set this up. I am wearing a tie. Do you want to see me in the light? This has been quite easy evening of getting this ready. So <laughs> that's why we're having issues. All right, guys. So let me show you how Sean hooked this up because I still do it. That's why Sean is doing this. Okay. I don't understand what's happening. Okay, okay what is this, Sean? So this is the uh, cabinet that we call, it's called a five pound cabinet. Okay. Um, because it can hold up to, it can hold up to five pounds of sand. It actually can do more, but that's just what they call it. So our uh, medium in there is called uh, silicone carbonate or carbide. Okay. So that's what you need to use to etch glass and other things. So how it. how do we hook the so air tank? So what's what we going do on? Is that my air tank from in there is here's the hose. This is your typical connection on most uh, tanks. When you buy this, it does not come with the correct nipple end, which is what this is. You have to that's have That's called the, the nipple. Yes. This is oh. the male end. Nipple end. This has to be, uh, and it's very easy to do. Just go <laughs> to your Harbor Freight or wherever, and just pick up a, one of these that looks like that. If you can get really, we have good. no comment, so we could have lost everyone. Who knows? Go right there. Go oh real, no, we have a comment. Go real close. Okay, good. Go real oh, close. So you oh, can see it. Sorry. Super close. So it's got to be that kind to be able to be able to click it in, and it just goes right in here. And I'm not going to do it right now because it has. I don't want to lose any air because it's not a perfect. These are not perfect connections. Gotcha. But anyway, so this nice. goes basically to the air tank. This goes from the air tank to here into here. And, and so then, the knots where. So inside, there's. So a, there's where the air comes through. Comes through it goes through the gun, through here, and as it's going out, as it's going out, it's creating a vacuum to pick up the silicon, through here, and then shoot out the end to whatever you're shooting at. Okay. That's all it's doing. So then the sand is basically literally blasting Hitting off. Hitting it, it's so hard that it's uh, peeling or indenting okay. your product. 
I have no idea how any of this works, but that's we okay. are gonna watch you. Okay, so that's our setup. That's the setup. And so you guys, I gave you all the instructions. This is on Amazon for ninety nine dollars. The exact same one yep. we got. It's great. Great price. Super light. Yeah, and it comes well. with everything. It's gonna come with this. It comes with the all hose, of the the hose, the tools, the gun. The, the gun. only thing you have to get is this because it does not come with the right kind. That's the nipple. Yep. Because okay. this is what most come with. It's so quick okay. like that. So. If you get the sand blaster, you will need an air tank. Now, this one is the one we have. You do not need one this big. Um, Sean has a big one, this but is a 21 gallon. I just sent you gallon. like, yeah, I I just, down in the description, I just gave you a little air tank, which is perfectly fine. So really for a whole setup of this, you're looking at it right around 125 and you can blast on all sorts of mediums, glass, um, metals, metals anything really um so we're going to show you quickly how to do this part so essentially what we're using is our cricket maker to do the template right is that what we're doing yes okay so we're cutting this so, so gonna, we need it how long five and a half or so is all we really and we because we need to basically cover the entire glass here down to here because i'm only shooting in this area this is rubber and i'm going to have my hand covering it anyway okay so he is going to cut this, and I'm cutting this on the maker, um, but you could cut this on any Cricut machine. You do not need the maker, so you could cut this on a Cricut Expression, Cricut Expression 2. Um, you could cut it on the uh, uh, Explore Air, Air, all of that stuff. So I will tell you, we just started doing this a few, uh, we did this yesterday, and Sean's hooked. He's already asking for what? More stuff more stuff to, to step. So we're just gonna cut this and then we're gonna show it in action here. So we're just connecting it to the Bluetooth right now. He has gotten so crafty, I'm so proud of him. Um, he doesn't consider this really crafting though. He no, considers just, this fun. Just something to do. Yeah, and he's always wanted an air tank. Or, or I, I, do, mean, I use my air tank to do stuff with my cars and stuff in the garage and and other few th other things you know even a nail gun with having the sand blaster um using this medium works really great for what we're doing i can also get other mediums like um actual sand or uh walnut to actually do sand blasting of material if i want to clean up car parts and stuff if i want to do that i can do that in there too yeah All so right, we're bluetooth in so we're ready okay so go ahead and it's vinyl so you can load this now this just has the regular blade this isn't the rotary blade so this is just the regular blade and i am going to because the maker is able to on vinyl do at twice the speed that's the option we're going to choose so i am going to make this cut a little bit faster than it normally would once again you do not need the maker for this you could almost use any machine for it um, but the maker is my machine of choice, so that's what I tend to use the most of. So we'll watch this cut really quick. Now, once it's done cut cutting, Sean will weed out the parts that we do want the sand to hit. So then we're going to be using this. Um, but I'm looking at the transfer oh, tape. There you go. That will transfer the vinyl. Ooh, I love watching machines cut. this real quick before I weed. So really, you guys can see the design here while he's cutting that. So the design is right there. That's the part that we need to weed it out of. So we have our little weeding tool here. So Sean will weed it out. And essentially any part that you weed it out, um, that's the part the sand's going to hint. Uh, now, you guys, the air tank Sean is using is way, you do not need anything that big. So if you go down below, really any air tank will work. Um, you can actually even go on Amazon and write um, air compressor for sand blaster and it will bring up all the compatible ones. Um, but need, here's the something. deal is a lot of the prices I'm seeing on Amazon is what we paid for our air compressor at Harbor, Harbor Freight. Freight. You can it's get such you can, a good price. And you can go to Harbor Freight, but they're basically the same price. Yeah. So here is the thing, and I'm going to show Sean. 
Now, do you need to use the transfer tape? Um, you don't need to use it. Uh, but if when you're transferring it, you want to get as many of the air bubbles out as possible. So that's why we are using these transfer sheets is this way when we put it on the glass, we're getting out of the air bubbles. Why is that important? Well, if you have a bubble underneath, um, while Sean's laying out, I'll tell you, if you have a bubble underneath where you have the logo coming out, let's say the sand will get under there and, um, it, it will be not good. You'll get sand and it will actually discolor that part. So the part that you want, you want to make sure you are covering it. I'm sorry you got the thumbs down. I got, I had made all of my family go in on it to buy me. Even though it's only $99, I know that's still a big price. But um, I'm telling you what, now that we've seen the possibilities, it's crazy. So is using a brayer right now to make sure we got a nice. And then we'll start with the blue one. So you could really do, Sean, any design. Yep, anything you want. So you could do names, you could do logos, anything. Is Sharon in the room today? Sharon is not. Crawford, she has one exactly like this. And she sandblasted our names in cursive writing. And some characters from... Do you remember? Um, Big Hero 6 for me and... Another one for you. Whoops. Trying to get that on there. We'll try it the other end. There you go. I'm not the best at this part. There we go. So, um, Cricut does have a really good... It'll pick it right up, so that's definitely not a problem. There's our logo. You can see where it's cut off. I know, right? So, that's what I was told, Sean. When, when I got this, Sean... Um, set everything up for me. So he's gonna do his best to try we, to we get... We find that this is basically center and we wanna center it off the T. On Contingo. Okay, so... And then we also have it just right where the distance from the top is Here. basically middle. I think it is. You got it? Yeah. yeah. All right, this is... I just have to do it just right. Okay. He says he's got this with one hand. I don't know how he's gonna do this, so but we're gonna watch him. We're all dying. So yes, you can do this with etching cream. That brings up a good point. So for those of you who say, do I need a sandblaster? You can buy etching cream. I think I have some somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Um, and etching cream does the exact same thing. But etching cream also, uh, you have to wear gloves. If you don't get just the right amount on, uh, you will get parts where it will be lighter and darker in other areas. So I have found the etching cream, um, I've only used on glass. I've never used it on metal. I don't know if it will work on metal. But on glass, it works perfect. But you just have to be really, really um, consistent when you're putting it on. Because if you do not put it the same consist consistency all the way across, it will almost look like it's um, darker in other areas than other, you know, basically... How do I want to say that? It, it basically will show like there's an unevenness to it. So sandblasting, if you can do it, is uh, way better. And it's not as uh, uh, harmful. Edging cream, you have to wear gloves. You don't want to get it on your skin. Now, with that said, if you're going to sandblast in a small area, you're also going to want a ventilation kit because you do not want to be uh, with breathing in these you know, the sand and stuff. But since we're doing outside, we're not as worried about it. So let's check on Sean's progress here. I probably should turn the camera. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> so essentially all he's doing now is getting that transfer tape off. And we're not too worried about this backside because we're only concerned with this part here. We don't want the bubbles here. And if we do get a little bubble, it's not as big of a deal. Uh, we can just easily, like we have one right there, but that's super easy to fix. And the big part on this is anywhere you do not want the sand needs to be covered. So Sean's going to cover this and then he's going to basically take that. And we also have, he's using a nail, but you can use, Scrape. I just use a scraper. But you don't need to, like this part, you don't care about this part because it's not going to get that far. Um... So, Melody, we got a 10-pound bag. So, Melody asked, how many pounds of sand do we need? We got an 
eight pound bag. Um, the bigger or the higher the grit, the more finer the sand and, and you're going to get a better etch. But we got an eight pound bag and so far it's been eight fine. Eight pound, 180 grit, silicone carbide. The machine's called a five pound because that's the minimum that at least needs to have is five pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready. So I'm going to let you guys know we have to turn on our air compressor, which... The air compressor won't come on unless I go under a certain amount, so you may not even... Oh, you may not even hear it. So we're ready. Can we show them what it looks like first before... We can go outside in the bright lights where we look like a movie studio. So excited in our I have it in here because if it does go out, you studio. Look at this, Sean. Our neighbors probably are thinking we're so fancy over here. All right. Okay. So you can get the sand um, on Amazon. I'll give you the link down below. Yep. So here's what the cup looks like. Anywhere that's covered, the sand won't hit. Nope. Um, right here, you just want to make sure any kind of thing like this, that there's no way that sand can get in there, which he did make sure. And so that's why we cover it all the way around, because we don't want the sand and to I'm, brush my hand, This will not be back here anyway, so I'm fine. So let's see how this bad boy works. Unlocked. Is this going to blow up? Do I need to be like no. behind a protective shield or anything? No. Okay. It comes with its own gloves already. Oh my god, I am so nervous, Sean. You have no connect, idea. Come over here so you can see me connect the air. Okay, okay, we're going over here, peeps. So you just go put oh the my god. on. What? <gasps> it's now connected. The nipple is connected, people. The nipple is connected. Okay. Oh, this is like surgery. Fancy gloves. Okay, so now the sand is going to come out of here. I'm going to see if I can get one where there's not as much glare, which will be hard, but... Sorry. So okay. it's going to come out of that. So it's going to come out of that little pink part. And so what happens? Oh, oh, you that's it. That's it? That's it. I don't even see it. Oh, look at that. It's changing. So does that mean... I'm actually blasting the blue stuff off. Wow. So now do you have to be consistent or... I can keep going. I can go all the way around. So you don't have to do it in little spurts like you did that. No, nope. I just want to. So make, I do want to give a word of warning that this. I need to pull my tube out because I'm not in the, in the thick part. Okay. So now, what's your word of warning? We are all anticipating your word of warning, and now. Word of warning is that this will cause static electricity, and as I'm doing this. Can you feel the sand? They want to know. Like when you're in there, does, do you feel the sand hitting anything? I can't know. No. Now, if you were in an area where there wasn't good ventilation, you would want to wear a mask because this is sand. It can get in the air and... You know, so now our air compressor. It went under a certain pressure, so now... Wow. So now... So what he's doing is... See this return tank? That's what's grabbing the sand. He needs it to be more in the middle. Um, we need to buy more sand is what we do. Because if you have a lot of sand that comes up all the way to the grate, this wouldn't be enough problem. But we only bought... Uh, eight pound bag and we could have put it a little more in there kind of getting hard to see because the sand's kind of filling it but basically what he's doing is trying to make sure he has a nice coverage which that looks like i do so that's it yep that's it wow now we're going to show you the aha moment where we remove our vinyl i haven't actually used this yet i'm still a little scared it's going to blow up i don't know why because it's got a big tank and it makes a big sound so i'm afraid like i'm going to push a button and it's going to go boom and blow up so it kind of scares me a little. I'm not going to lie. The warning was it's static electricity. Uh, when I'm in there, I can feel it'll ground, it's grounding me, so I get zapped every so often with it. Oh, that. It is not I just feel it. No big deal. You just get zapped a little. So don't let it freak you out going, oh my god, what is it doing? But all right, so it's a little bit like, <laughs> static. And then he wonders, why don't you want to use it, Ken? It's just going to zap you a little. No big deal. <laughs> all right. Do we buy the light and the sandblaster? Oh, it comes with it. The light comes with it. It's an the LED. light's in there. So an it's an LED, LED. And then you can turn it on and off, of course, so you can see. So that comes inside the sandblaster. Yep. It comes with its own light. Yeah. So what Sean is doing now... Oh, me. Sorry. He's just removing the vinyl that we put on there. And you can see where it's... the. You'll see the logo here. Now, keep in mind, um, this isn't the finished result. We still have to clean it off and get that little layer of sand, which we're going to do here next. So there it is. Just like that, we have our logo now on our glass. Ta-da! Just like that, isn't that cool? So let's take it inside and get it washed off so you guys can see how fancy it is. Oh, we that's... Off before we come in. oh, we have to turn that off before we come in. 
So here's the deal. This is super cool because it makes professional results. What's nice on sandblasting is now we can put this in a dishwasher. We can wash it and that's not going to go away. So a lot of people might be asking, why didn't you just do this with a vinyl? You could. We could have put just a, a vinyl on there. But after time of it going into the dishwasher or washing it, since these are going to be used in a bank every day, we want to make sure that they can go in the dishwasher at the end of the night. Vinyl is going to eventually wear off. So at that point, you're either constantly putting vinyl back on. You can put a Mod Podge, um, I think it's Mod Podge dishwasher and safe layer on it, but I don't recommend it. Where this one, here we go, let's show you here. There we go. So now this, if I was to actually um, wet this, you'll see it change a little color because it's wet. It's wet because now it will dry. It's not gonna, you, there's no way for this to come off. It literally blasted the paint off from there and we have now that logo on there. Oh, great. Isn't that awesome? So what could we use this on, Sean, again? You could use this on what? You use it obviously on metals, glass, plastics, literally anything. I mean, even something like this, I could get that. See, this is almost etched in sand as well, almost. They might do it a little different, but if I could get that almost that same effect if I wanted. Yeah, so for those of you asking, yes, this is my logo. It's Washington Trust Bank and it's hidden in there. So you have the W and then Trust is there, T. And then does who sees the B? Anyone see the B? Hmm? Where's the B, Sean? B. Yay, good job, Sean. Where's the B? So we have WTB. W and then you have T and then B. <gasps> Guess who's here? Who's here? Who have you been wanting to see use this? Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon's here. Sharon's here. Sharon, we sandblasted. Are you proud of us? Here's what we did. Sharon okay. is the one that has been... He's the one that did the glasses for us, and we and yeah. I use them all the time. Yeah. So that's how easy it is, you guys. Yeah. Uh, so um, I have, no, like, no, okay. 20 of these I have to make. I got a piece of glass. I want to try and see how it works. See, he's addicted now. <laughs> he's addicted. He is going to be uh, sandblasting everything. All right. So... You're on camera. Fine. Sorry, this this works really great as camera removal. Are you kidding me? You are using <laughs> you are using that to get dog hair off yes. of you. It works great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want to see the glass. Oh well, we didn't do anything on glass, but I'm going to. We haven't done anything, haven't on, done the anything glass. on the glass yet. We're what are you going to do? We don't know. I don't know. We'll just come up with something, cut it, put it on there, and cut, and then blast it. They want to see the glass, though. So you do it. What do you want me to put on there? I don't know. Do another WTB. Here, you hold this, and I'll do that since I'm right. a little quicker. He's faster than I am. So one. So you can here. start answering all these questions too. Oh hi. Oh sure, I get to read the stuff I can't read up well, close. That's not all my right. fault. That God gave you a bad, bad. Um, do you need to get glasses? I have my cheaters. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So you can't read any of those questions? Yeah. Do glass with us. Okay. We can. We've only been on for 23 minutes, so we'll do one. Sorry that you hear our dog in the background. She decides yeah. that she needs to be do on. Do a quick monogram. There you go. Okay. Just uh, remember it's uh, first initial. I always. Monograms minute. mess me up. Oh. So why? It's what? It would be, yours would be uh, K-H-R. What? It's Are first, you sure? It's first, last, middle. Yes. That does not make any sense. Am I sense. right? Do KK. I don't know if we should do it. Oh, KK. Oh, oh, yeah, do yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Uh, do your Kent's Creations one. Okay. We can so definitely do that. Yeah, let's do a new one. Uh, we need to save this first. WTV. Save because we need it. And that's we'll perfect size, it. too. Yeah, that is a perfect size. Okay, so we'll, let's do the same size again. So let's do, this is pretty easy. What all I do is you bring in a shape, I bring in a square, and I'm gonna sorry turn, what? I'm sorry, sorry if I'm in your way, oh. so. So all I'm doing is basically, I'm making this for probably, gosh, I'm gonna make about, cause I wanna cover the whole thing. Almost the whole thing. Yeah, so tape measure, let's do, 10 inches again, 10 inches, and let's make this one, let's cover the whole front. Well, you need a little room on top and bottom. So let's do it six inches. How, how tall is it? Hmm, that sounds good though. What are we doing now? 
your uh, your KK, your Ken's creation. And I'm doing monograms, or am I just no, doing? No, just do your, do your monogram. Oh, my logo. Do your logo. Oh. I have your logo. I now get what you're saying. Yeah. My logo, not my. You were saying monograms, so well, I was we were, very but then confused. We said, let's do KK, so might as well do your Ken's creations. Logo. Yes, let's do it. So let's do this PNG file. And since it's a PNG file, I don't have to clean up anything. There it is right there. Yeah. And this, of course, um, you could do just the K and K without the Ken's creation, but it's going to be a little more weeding. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I'm on board now with what you're saying, Sean. Simple, not as, it can, we could definitely do the, the Ken's creation and the words and everything if you just did the KK by itself. That'd be great. It's still going to have the something as magical. Oh, I don't like that size, though. That's okay. We'll just do the other one. It's fine. Sorry if I missed any questions. Will it work with small words? Yeah, of course. Of course it will. It's just weeding. Weeding time. We don't want all that weeding time. Yeah. I could possibly... Yeah. Um... If you want to weed that, that's fine. The glass with a KK could be a great price. Well, it's not a perfect glass. It's just one of our drinking glasses. So you're doing what right now? So since we don't really want this, instead of just trying to erase it or stuff, I'm doing what's called contour, which means I'm basically selecting all the pieces I don't want it to cut. Contour so, the words out. That yeah. Is exactly what so is. that's what we're doing is contouring these words out, which makes it super easy. Um, so this way it doesn't, some people say, oh, just don't weed it or something, but this will be the easiest way to quickly say I don't want this so I don't have to do because if not it's going to take me forever to weed this which yeah, Brenda is Brenda says if we give it away we can fill it with candy ooh that's a good idea Linda says select them all then put back the few you want oh that's a good idea I could have done that I find this kind of soothing I'm almost done but yes she is absolutely she, I, she is right I could have done that um, so I still want the two little sides on there and stuff, but what she was saying is, and she's absolutely right, I could have hit hide couture all, and it would have done that, and then I could have just done the ones. So by doing that, it's just those pieces. So I am going to, yeah, we can center this. So we're just going to hit select all, align, perfectly center, and then I'm just going to hit the slice button, which I always say is like a cookie cutter. It basically took my logo and did a cookie cutter underneath there of the other stuff. We'll get rid of that, and now we can make it. So it's going to put it right here. So it's going to sandblast basically these parts here. So make sure, select my Cricut Maker. I already have this cut down to size. So now what What if I went with a smaller grit? Is that bad? If you went even with a even finer grit? Mm-hmm. Finer grit would probably work just as well. Like I said, this is a 180. And uh, Sharon, if you're still in the room, that's about what you use all the time. Is it 180 grit? Because I think you can get as... Yeah, I don't know how high you can get. It's pretty fine material. You'd be surprised. People said they'd buy your glass with your logo on it. Ooh! Opportunity yeah, knocks! Yeah, she uses 180. She's the one so, that told me to buy the 180. Yeah, because anything any higher than that's really kind of like no need. Yeah. Um, no, she's the one that told me to buy the 180. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's and it's a when you look at it or touch it, it's super fine material. And it does a great job. Yeah. Um, I've been pretty impressed with... There she cuts. I love the sound of this machine. It just purrs. So now we're going to be sandblasting everything, huh, Sean? Yes. What else are we going to yeah, blast? Yeah, sell the glasses. Ooh, ooh. What else are we going to blast? I'm so know. excited. I'll have to find some other materials. We might, might need to blast uh, it. Sharon, what other type of materials do you use for uh, sandblasting? She's done plastic. She's done glass, I know for a fact. I know, yeah, you can do glass, metal, uh, plastic. Uh, I'm sure you could do ceramic or a ceramic tile with a glaze on it. You probably... You, oh, now we're at very bad connection. Uh oh. So, yeah, it's, it says keeps freezing on us. Sorry, and we're in the room where the main thing is at. Sorry. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is on. Stainless steel, acrylic. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is yeah. on. I might not have turned it back on. Your LTE is on. Yeah, so that's why. Oh, uh, that's why. Our Wi-Fi reset, and I forgot to turn it back on. But it was the microphone giving us an issue, not even our Wi-Fi. So mugs. Yeah, she's done all kinds of. Good yeah, stuff. you can do all sorts of stuff. It's. I mean. So this will be a little different since it's not connected, but that's why you're using 
What do you what? What's not connected? What uh, are you talking about? When you're looking about? at the KKs, they're connected. They're connected to this and yeah, this. Yeah, but not in the center. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ceramic yeah, mugs yeah. can work. Sandblast your car? No thanks. <laughs> so, um, I don't think that, I mean, this is, it looks intimidating, but it's not. The it's initial not. setup confused me, but somehow you talked to Sharon and she walked you through it. Yeah, she kind of gave me got going and then we just finally got everything that we wanted and finally got it out of its box and all that good stuff. So I'm going to grab the glass here. Stainless painted mugs, like what we just did, yeah. Well, we just works. What do you got? Well, I should be doing this on a flat surface, and I didn't, and so it's being a little bit of a stinker. But oh, I'm sorry, Mel. Can you can you uh, repeat your question? I just I was looking at Kenny, I, and it just went away. So what did you say, Mel? Some people see us just fine. See, now we're on bad. Yeah, bad connection again. Sorry, Mike. It's freezing over at Mel's. You can't change while you're... You can try, but you might end the, the, the broadcast. Nope. Oh, yeah, you can. We'll see if that helps. See what, we'll see, Sean. You will have to walk me through it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. That should We should be on Wi-Fi now. We're on Wi-Fi. Hopefully it'll get better. We don't know. It's freezing for some, but not for everyone. I, yeah, how's it going? Are we back on? We're still in bad, very bad connections. I don't know what our deal is. Why it's being like this. I don't know. Our Wi-Fi seems to be good, so maybe it's just an app. Maybe it's our phone. I swear, iPhones. When they know a new iPhone's coming out, oh, they're just speed. what? Yeah, we're on. We're good, I guess. Sharon says she also does a reverse weed. Oh, I could have done a reverse weed. That's right. You could do a reverse weed. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely on. Certain people are have us perfect, while other people are losing us. That's weird. Yeah, let's see what happens when we go outside. Even yeah. though this should be fine. That's a bummer. I'm sorry for all those who are losing us. Yeah, so sorry. We're just trying to get all everything sealed up really nice. If I would have done reverse weed, she is correct. It would have been better. But this isn't perfect because I'm trying to rush. So yeah. Okay, there you, you go. To take over. I will take over. There you go. I'm gonna press your key down. Cause... Go. All right, guys. Sorry. I apologize for the the connection. It says we're on Wi-Fi, so I don't know what the deal is. So. This is why sometimes live is not uh, my friend. Why is this not sticking? I wouldn't worry about it, Sean. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Let me see it. What do you mean? You're the bottom of your case is not sticking. Oh, because probably some of the stuff got stuck on it. So do this. Now you have to. You're gonna have to manually get it. Okay. Got it. Nope. You're gonna have to let me do it if you want it. Do you have your cheaters on? Because you're probably not going to see that too well without cheaters. But he's going to sure try. So, where's your little so let's see how well he can do without his cheaters. Because this is going to be a hard task. Good job. Oh my gosh. Good job, Sean. Good job, Sean. Good job, Sean. First we tore the cage just a hair. But that's, that's okay. okay. This is really, it doesn't matter. Here's the is it doesn't matter if you tear a little bit of your stencil because really all you're using the stencil is to block it out um, and stuff. So uh, you're going to hear our... Look at how much I'm sweating under these lights. Oh, it feels so good out here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys, let's watch. Here's our sand blaster. He's, this is the first time he's done glass. Yeah, this well, we've done glass with a big giant machine. Here goes Sean. Here goes Sean. So yes, correct, Kristen. Anywhere where there is not vinyl, it's going to etch. So essentially, whoa, he's trying to get the sand down there because we need more sand. So basically, right there where there is no 
you can kind of see it where the sand is hitting it it's going to etch right there so it's basically etching all around that um so basically wherever you cover she said change out those gloves whatever that means so these are br her. brand new gloves well maybe the gloves she has a better come. set yeah maybe they get better set uh it could potentially get it inside it i don't know um I, we haven't when we did glass before we I we did cover it a little bit more on the inside if it got inside but um, it usually only is going to hit really hard where you're pointing that nozzle at so where there's a nozzle so there's the uptake right there it's grabbing the sand there it's hard to see through the that glass I apologize so it's bringing the sand up through the tube and the nozzle let me see is pretty direct exactly where it's going so it's not really gonna hit any other areas except for the part where you're literally blasting it so just sand hitting certain areas isn't going to be uh, are we done yep oh wow we're done sean says we are done it looks like we're done so he's going to double check it to make sure we are done and he is so he is going to look at all that let's look at that so now you got a better idea so here's the sand and it's pulling the sand through there uptake and going to your gun here's what your gun looks like there you go and then that's the nozzles and stuff so oh let's go ahead and see what sean is doing here he's removing the vinyl hopefully he doesn't drop the glass and we're gonna end up washing it because you're gonna see the where the sand is Ooh, you can already kind of see it Oh, yeah, wait. Oh. The reveal. oh, we gotta wait. Sean wants us to wait. I guess there's a reveal. We have to wait. So the last little part there is the K. So that's what's blocking it. So you do this right after. And then we'll draw, we're gonna rinse it off. So our resident expert says, remove the shelf. That's the shelf, we'll have more room. So that's good to know. Good to know. And I can play with the... Uh... Okay, so we're now gonna go rinse this off real quick. Let's get the big pieces off here. Yeah, you are right. If we would have soaked in warm water on the vinyl, yeah, it'll come straight off. I agree with that. We just don't wanna go upstairs and put it in warm water. So this is the point where the nipple that comes out attaches to the male end. Ooh, I know what you're talking about. Sheila says, I used to sandblast airplane parts when they would come into Washington State. So where's she at, Sean? She's in Everett or, or, or Renton. I don't think she's in either of those places. I think you were incorrect. I think she said she was in Ballard's. Well, it's everywhere, wherever we go. <laughs> what are we looking for? That is our dog that is having issues. Oh, you're just gonna use a wet wipe, I see. Oh, Cynthia, I'm sorry. We just sandblasted. We're sandblasting today. We're so addicted to sandblasting right now. So Sean's basically rubbing away um, just a, a little pieces of sand that were on there. Normally we would soak it in water to do this, but, and now he's just taking the can of air to dry right. so you guys can see the etching. He's doing this fast forward motion. Ooh, I can see it though. Look at that. Wow. That's perfect. Look at that. So there's the dots. Oh, wow. Good, jo good job, Sean. Thank you very much. He's so excited. This is like his new little toy, you can tell. Yeah, a reverse would be a lot of fun like Sharon said. Yeah. So today what we made is we made this Contigo glass. Tumbler. Tumbler with my logo. And then we made, or with my bank logo, and this with the regular logo. So there you go. Nice. Sean? Yes. Are you going to give away the glass? Everyone wants to know. If I give away this glass, you have to remember, this is a glass that's been sitting in our cupboard and used for a few years, so it's not perfect and it's not brand new. But if somebody wants it, we'll give it away. Who are you going to give it to? I don't know. Should we do a question? Do a question. Oh my goodness, now you put me on the spot. Um, okay. 
Okay, wait, wait for it, because then I have to look for this. Other than Sharon, how many pounds is that box? What's it called? What do you mean, how it's many a, pounds it's, is that it's box? Actually, it's, it actually has a number. Are you talking about the sand or the actual the sand actual blaster sand, box? The sand blaster box is a certain... Pounds. Oh, I know. Oh, she got it. Rowena got it. Five pounds. Robin, very good. Robin got it. That was quick. Wow, you are on. Well remembered. Five, it's a five pound box. I'll make more glasses. We'll make more. Yeah. So yeah, that was confusing. I know eight pounds is how much sand grit we got. That's how much. I it's a in five there. pound sandblaster cabinet. Yeah. So, yeah, very cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, do you have anything else? I'll try to watch it as good as well as I can. Yeah. <laughs> here, you want to hold this really quick? Yeah. I need to go get her. That's so let me flip flop the camera here. Last questions? Is there any last questions? Of course, I got to be way out here to read it. Me. Me what? Yes, Jennifer. Have a question? Yes, congrats to Robin. Yeah, we should make some more of those. It'll be fun. Try to do a little more... Uh, yeah, I definitely can add more sand. Oh, look who I found. Hey. Hi. Come here. That's what she was all barking. She could hear us. Uh, You're okay. Hey, come here. Come here. You're okay. You're okay. I swear to you. you I swear. Uh, You're okay. Come here. Come on. Get out. My air compressor is much more than you'll ever need. I have a 26-gallon one. There. You just need a small one. I'm not sure how big Sharon's is. How big do you have one, Sharon? Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hey, baby girl. Hi. Yes, I. Yes, Jill, Hi. I can. I could have done that even uh, with the small words if See, I wanted to. We just didn't want to spend the time weeding. It would have taken way too long. Yes, that is true, Belinda. The um, sand blasting will last a lot longer. Sharon uses hers in the basement. I could do this in the basement too if I really wanted to, but I don't have a any kind of way to keep the dust out, so I have it outside. Sharon has, Sharon has the same size I have, and I have the big 26. You can just, you can get a much, much smaller one. Uh, the one that he has listed in his description is just the small, flat, doesn't take up much room. If one of you guys has a husband or somebody that already has one, don't need to get one then. It'll work. You just have to make sure it's 90 PSI or less. I'm not sure. I have mine at 90. So 27 actually, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, and I got I bought I bought mine or I got mine for Christmas a couple of years ago. Five gallon, yeah. That's all you really need is five gallon, I think. It'll just go off more often, but that's okay. Can we do another one? Uh, somebody's asking us to do another one, but I think we can do that on another day. Yeah, we'll do Definitely. another one. We'll do another one and something that's a little more interesting. So, because we're already at our... So, the, our uh, Sharon Lewis asked, what's the total cost of everything? For what I bought or got for Christmas, the sand blaster machine was like $99. The sand was right around $25. And the air tank that I found online isn't that bad. It was probably... A know, small air tank it. was... It's, they call it a five-gallon one. It's yeah. Small. Um, it wasn't, it's like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you could do this for 150 or under. And then really the only thing you're replacing is the sand as you wear, yeah, you go weird? through it. Yeah. I'm not Sharon would probably could tell you how long her sand lasts. Yes. And the sand that I got is black. It's a, it's a dark it's, sand it's color. It's called silicon carbide. And that's yeah. the color it comes And in. it was kind of cool. The reason we got into this is we went to the Corning glass factory and they had a sand blaster there. And really, they had all sorts of stuff to cover your glass. So they had sticker books, they had stencils, lettering, and basically anywhere you cover, mm -hmm. that's that's going to come, you know, keeps basically. It clear. Keeps yeah. It clear. Yeah. So you could go the other way. Like I could have cut my logo in vinyl, and the rest of the glass would have been. So if I would have cut this, this could have been the glass, and the rest of the glass could have been sandblasted, and then just my logo's coming through. So, um, so yeah, it's. It, yeah, I will tell you. This is the first time we really use it because I've been so busy doing everything else and stuff like that. Um, and I have to tell you, it is very fun. It's very addictive. It's very quick. So yeah. um, we're going to be doing literally 20 of these tumblers like so. So we're going to have our work cut out for us because we have to do 20 of these. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, that's great because 
we have to have a logo on the cups we drink or what we use in the bank. It has to have our logo on it. So now I can go find any cup we want and customize it, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, like Sharon said, don't use sand. You have to use the silicon carbide for glass and all this stuff because the love because this of the, in the strength to do my hair. Look, it's at this. basically like um, <laughs> I, I don't want to call it sand. It's I mean it's silicon. I need one of these in the morning when I do my hair because it's, very, it's, it's perfect to look it's at your very hair. Very strong material. Sand and walnut is great for when you're doing. So yes, it's taken off. Sharon lust. said it will damage your lungs, so that's why if you're not in a ventilated area, they always recommend a mask. A ventilation mask. See, Ron does his at 220. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. that's fine. Yeah. So all those links are down below in the description. I gave you the silicon carbide. I gave you the uh, sandblasting unit. I even gave you, I think I gave you everything. Mm -hmm. So you can check out, you don't have to buy it, but you can check out what you would need. So um, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know this was kind of a chaotic one trying to Sorry. get on here and then um, just kind of moving around and stuff. But it was the only way for us to shoot it. Uh, because it was outside, so we had to do it kind of yeah, kind of this crazy way. So, so oh, I'm sorry, Mary. That's really sad. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank we will so not much. be live tomorrow because it's Halloween. Yep. But we'll be back Wednesday. And the next week, our new schedule starts where we're going live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Unless we get sick. <laughs> or if Even if we're sick. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.